and it's a really nice frame it's very strong it looks nice and again the only thing that he didn't show you on his videos was how to actually hook this thing up together it's fairly easy you really don't need a video or somebody uh, showing you how to put this together but it but I will go ahead and show you how to do that in this video so you should have everything that you need uh, from watching my past videos as far as the internal components and just looking at uh, his videos and I mean you should really have a solar panel up in no time if you do want to go ahead and still build a solar panel but what I recommend is if you want to build a solar panel with the aluminum frame yourself build one on a larger scale I think you'll save a little bit more money uh, doing it that way than doing it what I was doing because considering I'm not gonna really build another solar panel by myself uh, from scratch I was really kind of wasting a lot of money there with the slide guard so <clears throat> I hope uh, this was enough information to give you an inside scoop on some of the things you need to consider before you even go down this route of building a aluminum frame solar panel. Now when you receive your uh, package in the mail from Mark, the only thing that's included is the nuts and bolts, uh, some screws, some L brackets, two different sizes, and then you got the outside frames of course of the channels. They are two different sizes as well as the L brackets. You get four of these, these small L brackets that actually hold the glass together. Well, in place I should say then you get some more L brackets to actually hold the corners in place and the only tools that you need uh, I just use the forehead uh, screwdriver and some pliers so uh, these are tools that most people already have in their homes so it is a really simple process and the tools needed to put it together are uh, really simple tools that you should already know how to use so let's just go ahead and get started here and what I usually do after uh, assembling and disassembling this so many times I uh, just start at one corner so I just putting everything else to the side here as you can see these have an angle to them so what you want to do is just basically slide them in place until the uh, corners meet and then we're going to actually put a L bracket in the corner where you see the holes at. so let's just go ahead and get uh, do that and to, something else to notice as it's not really uh, hard to get confused uh, which one to use as I said these do come in two different sizes as you can see here this one has two holes in it and the smaller one actually has one hole so I mean it's, it's really obvious which one to use here for the corner so for the corners you use the larger L brackets and you take some screws and you can actually put the screw from the outside in so take the screw here and actually put it in that and uh, outside of the frame. All right, so taking the L bracket, putting the L bracket in front of the frame first. And let me just try to zoom in a little bit on that. So we're gonna take this screw and put it inside the L bracket. Then we just wanna take a nut, is what I do. And just go ahead and put the nut on it. Don't screw it all the way tightly. I'll show you what I'm doing here in a moment. So I'm just screwing it with my hand as far as I can. So once I got that on, it's still loose, but I mean, the main thing here, I just want to get the actual L bracket on here. So I'm going to take another screw and do the same thing to the other side. Just from the outside, I'm going to put the screw in. And just twist it on there with my hand. Alright, so it's just like that. It should be intact, but it's uh, really loose, as you can see. So next, what I do, or you can go ahead and actually do the whole frame like this. Just uh, screw the screws on with your hand, and then go back and actually uh, tighten everything up. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tighten it up right now. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. It's probably a better way to do it, but as long as you try to get these corners as tight as possible. So what I do now is just take my pliers and actually use the pliers to hold the nut bolt and use the screwdriver to actually uh, screw the, the screw. So just trying to screw this as tightly as possible, but at the same time, what I'm trying to prevent is the gaps. I don't want any gaps in here if I can prevent that. So at the same time, you kind of got to hold it together really tight. Or try to have someone out there with you uh, while you're trying to assemble this. Try to just hold it really tight together while you screw it. 